gorgeous. It has tremendous talent and skill like you've never seen. It's got ideas all over the place. But the main thing is it's a laconic, skinny twit who basically has no interest in life. The two of them, a few people are like doing drugs and dying, basically, in Tokyo. And, and it's all that floating it's that sort gorgeous, of gorgeous, floating steady gorgeous camp. Gorgeous shit. Gorgeous graphics like you've never seen on, on drugs. Like and a lot out. of CGI, lots right? Lots of tripping out. Yeah, lots. And you get so bored. And also, the guy's useless. He should just OD now, like in Act 1, and then we'd have a movie. But instead, we have to watch this disgusting-looking, pimply, skinny, like, greasy, slimy kid. Like, for so long, I just walked out. Did you I mean, see it at Sundance? I saw it in Sundance. I tried to see it in Sundance. I didn't have a desire to sit through it. It's the sort of thing you could put in on the wall and walk past and just look at it as a visual because the, the elements are painterly. I mean, he should be in a museum where he just does those sort of screens and then you pay like 25000 for the installation. But he should not consider that a story. I think his first movies are really good. Oh, oh that's, that's his narrative best one. movie. I Stand Alone. I love I Stand Alone. Yeah, I Stand Alone was very good. But when you think about it, is it even a part of what one would need to make to be part of the industry? I mean, is there any reason why somebody would actually make that movie? Other than Intense that it's a still personal shot. rage. Yeah, exactly. But it's not really for anyone else to need to see it in the audience. I loved it. Yeah. I, I just don't see a place. 